There are a number of reasons we delve into addresses. Common reasons are to compare employee addresses to vendor addresses, or looking for one vendor who is in our vendor listing multiple times. And there are other reasons. The challenge is that often street addresses are written different ways but mean the same thing, like those that I'm showing here. So our overall approach today is going to be to create a unique key based on the numeric part of the street address and the zip code. So we'll look at our vendor file here. And the first thing we'll do is separate the street number from the rest of the address by using the split text to columns capability, choosing the address one field, having it split based on a space, and we're going to capture just that first part, which should be the numeric part of the street address. We'll do the same thing on the address two field. Based on an earlier inspection, we know that we have some street addresses that made it into the address two field. So again, choosing the space, capturing just the first part of the address. Also notice we have the postal code here. We have nine digit postal codes and we have some five digit postal codes. So we're gonna to need to make those all the same. So again, we're gonna reduce those nine digit postal codes down to five digit postal codes using the split text to columns and choosing the postal field, and this time separating based on a hyphen, and again capturing just the first part. So now that we've broken these things out, we're now going to run an exception report because we, we can see that we have some things that are not numeric. Those records that are not numeric we'll come back to later and have to manage what those are, whether they were a P.O. box or just, in this case, not a street address. So we can go ahead and run an exception report. And we'll run the exception report on the split field for address one and where it is greater than zero. And this will create a new tab for us that'll contain just the address one splits that are, in our, that are numeric. We'll go back to the source spreadsheet vendors and we'll do the same thing, only this time we'll choose the address two split field where it is greater than zero. And now we have two exception reports and we're gonna to wanna to copy the split fields from each of those. And we'll rename that to street number. And again, doing the same thing on the other exception report where we'll grab the address one split field. And again, renaming the column. So now we can append these column, these, excuse me, append these spreadsheets together. So we'll choose the append sheets. We'll choose both of those exception reports and say, okay. So now we've got one column that made up both of those worksheets that has the street number. So now we can go ahead and combine our street number with our zip code. Again, using the manipulate fields, this time combine text to columns. And we'll choose street number. And I'm gonna put a delimiter in here of an exclamation mark. And then our postal code that was split. And we can see an example of what it will look like. We'll click OK, and we have a new column here with that combined field. Now we can look for duplicates on this combined field. So we'll go to Extract Duplicates, and we can choose just that combined column and say OK. And a spreadsheet is generated for us that has those unique addresses. So we can see here, we'll go ahead and just sort these to make sure they're in order. And so we can see some cases, we have some where we got some false positives where the street number and the zip code were the same. However, they're not the same address. In other cases, we have some that are very similar, and we'd probably want to look into these to determine if they are the same address. And in other cases, we have some exact matches. After this, we would need to go back and handle those other addresses where they were PO boxes or whatever they might have been uh, that were not numeric. But this is how we can take this approach of combining the street number and the postal code to then determine if we have duplicate addresses.